Quick warning, if you ever plan on trying to achieve this in your lifetime, give up now. Why? When I ask how to 100% Terraria, I'm not just asking how to get all achievements and bestiary logs, I mean how to do every single thing you possibly can in this game. And the numbers? Yeah, they're not in your favor. I've decided to stick to only the single player side of Terraria since I don't know or feel like calculating how long it would take to 100% every server in the game. Anyways, let's get started. But before we get into this, let's meet our character. I'm gonna call him Max, based on the webcomic, of course. Similar to Porto Steve and Blue Cube's 100% Minecraft video, Max is what any Terraria player could be with infinite time and infinite will to play Terraria. But of course, we gotta deck him out first, so let's start with a simple playthrough of the game. This initial playthrough isn't just gonna be your average game, though. Max has multiple goals, such as filling out the bestiary and completing every achievement. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> Wait a damn uh, I'm not just asking how to get all achievements and bestiary logs. Achievements and bestiary logs. Along with collecting every block, item, and a couple more things we'll get into later. Let's start with the bestiary. Now, obviously, I don't really have a way to measure how long it would take to fill this out, but I can definitely estimate. Let's say throughout the first playthrough, Max fills out 30% of the bestiary. That leaves us 378 creatures left to find. Now, the bestiary is weird because to collect 100% of the data on most enemies, you gotta kill 50 of that one creature, but that doesn't apply to rare enemies, NPCs, bosses, etc. After a lot of bit of testing, I found it was possible to find and kill 50 of a new creature about every 5 minutes, give or take. So, we're gonna say the same for Max here. I decided to do myself the pleasure of assuming all of the enemies that only require one kill to 100% get killed throughout the initial playthrough. So to finish the 378 entries in the bestiary, Max is going to need 31 and a half hours. I'm going to round to 32. Now let's move on to achievements. Once again, I can't really measure how long this would take since every playthrough is different, but I found a few sources, and some are as low as the sub-50 hour mark, and others say over 100 hours. So let's just say 60. But since a lot of these will most likely get completed during the initial playthrough, I'll knock off however many hours that is. So how long does a normal mode playthrough take? Well, a lot of regular players say it takes them around 15 to 25 hours, but my boy Max isn't your average Terraria player. 10 hours seems a little more reasonable, just to get through the base game. So we've done the first one, but now it's time to beat every difficulty on every special seed. For convenience, we're just going to say that Max doesn't die once throughout any of the playthroughs and is able to beat them all in pretty similar times. Obviously, we have to take into account the fact that harder difficulties will take a little longer, so I'm going to say again that 10 hours per playthrough sounds reasonable because Journey Mode takes that average down by a lot. 8 special seeds and 4 difficulties per seed gives us 32 playthroughs or 320 hours, around 2 weeks straight. You know, it was pretty impressive that Max got through all those playthroughs without a single death. But I hope you're feeling suicidal, buddy, because you're gonna have to kill yourself a lot. Terraria has 137 unique death messages, and poor Max has to get every single one of them. Based on no real data at all, I'm guessing it'll take him around 2 minutes to get each death. So that means Max gets to kill himself for 4.5 hours straight. Sorry about that. So now Max has about two and a half weeks in this game, which honestly isn't a lot, but don't worry. In reality, this number won't even matter soon. It's time to get into the big stuff. Starting with collecting all 5,455 items this game has to offer. The problem here is that every item will take a different amount of time to get, and some would even need multiple worlds to be made. From the looks of it, around a quarter of the items in Terraria can be found just by digging through the world, so let's start with that. Of course, using the drill containment unit. I'm going to use a large world. Also, for pretty much this entire video, buffs are going to be out of the equation to keep things simple. I decided to simply mine from the bottom of the world to the top, mining 4 blocks every layer and taking me about a minute. Now, considering a Terraria world is 8,317 blocks wide, that means Max will have to go through it about 2,080 times. So, considering each time takes about a minute, we get around 35 hours of straight mining. Now we gotta take into account the other three quarter items. Some of these will take less than a second to obtain, and others will take over an hour. So, what do we do? Guess! I'm gonna say that around 1,500 items will take 30 seconds to get, 2,000 will take 2 minutes, 500 will take 5, and 20 very special items will take half an hour. Now obviously items like the zenith exist that will take much longer, but I'm hoping the higher estimates on the items that take less time will cancel out the lower estimates on the items that take longer. 
and now we can tack on another 130 hours or about five and a half days. And now that we've destroyed every block, the only logical thing to do is place every block. I've decided to go with the one block at a time method, meaning we fill the entire world with dirt, destroy it, then mud, destroy it, then clay, destroy it, then ash, destroy it. 213 so unique blocks that need to get placed over 19 million times, then destroyed the same amount. According to Yeah I'm Cool on Reddit, there's 1,161 unique placeable items in Terraria. I found that the Terrarian can place blocks, actuators, and paint at 10 blocks per second, place 14 walls per second, and 15 wires per second, giving us an average place rate of 11.812 items per second. One more problem is that certain placed items take up more tiles than others. The way I fix this is simply by assuming all placed items take up two tiles, hopefully getting us sorta of close to the real answer. Now I'm gonna do you a solid and spare you the details of the math, because poor Max is gonna have to place and destroy blocks for the next 714 years. So that means your great 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 grandkids will probably see it. Also, yes, I'm aware you can hammer items, and no, I am not counting it. And now that Max has all these items, it's time for him to filter out all of the accessories and weapons, then reforge every single one with every single modifier. To put the math simply, there's 563 weapons and 273 accessories. I found when using one finger to click, I could get around 7 reforges per second. So with an average of 55 reforges needed to get every modifier, and 2 seconds added per item to account for the time needed to switch the items out, we get around... 2 hours? <laughs> yeah, this was kind of pointless. Hey guys, editing Chardon here. I forgot to add tools into this equation, so let's just go ahead and... Yep, there we go. And now, you know everything we just did? Let's do it all over again. First of all, you can't exclude women out of all this. You gotta keep things equal. Meet Max... Ella. But wait, what about the difficulties? Medium core isn't just gonna play itself. And screw the special seeds, what about the 120 billion other world seeds? And the three world sizes? Do they just simply not matter to you? Oh, Max, you thought your great 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 grandkids were gonna see this? Forget about them, and forget about the planet, our solar system, and any life, period. Those hundreds of years you just spent are gonna seem like seconds compared to what you're about to go through. The entire universe is gonna rip apart or crunch into itself before you can even come close to finishing this task. I'm sorry, my friend. Four quadrillion, one hundred twelve trillion, seven hundred fifty-five billion, two hundred million years. But wait, there's still one more step? Well, sadly, we can't really 100% an entire game if it's still getting content updates, so Max here is just gonna have to wait until the Terraria developers stop uploading. Max? Max? Before I end this video, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Blue Cubed for making the inspiration of this video. Check out How to 100% Minecraft in the description. I would also like to clarify that if I missed anything in this video, it's probably not because I forgot about it and more likely just because I didn't want to do the math. I hated making this video. Anyways, later.